Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Rebel Free. In this video, I am going to explain you about the unified process model. So this is the last process model that we are going to study. Even I am also bored explaining about this process model. So from the next chapter, uh, from the next video, let's start the second chapter that is about the requirements, engineering requirements and all. Uh, so let us understand about unified process model with the diagram and each and everything in the diagram also. Let us try to understand. Okay. So it is basically used in the case of object oriented systems. What do you mean by object oriented systems? Simply real time systems. Okay. You will be using this unified process model in case of real time systems. Done. Next diagram. So diagram. Let me zoom in. You will definitely get confused on seeing the diagram, but don't worry. I'll tell you first forget this oval symbols. Okay. Forget that oval symbols and just see this like I'm okay. uh, just to see this it is in the form of a uh, cycle right so communication planning modeling construction deployment okay first understand that first you draw that in the exam first you draw these five phases as a cycle mm. Mm. I wish somebody is there to close that elaboration as well okay yeah so this is the diagram okay you need to draw this first now what do you mean by planning Sorry, it starts with communication. So communication is nothing but you are communicating with the users and you are gathering the requirements. Okay. Once you are done with requ uh, communication, gathering the requirements and doing the analysis, you are doing the planning like how to do the project. Okay. Guys, why I am uh, skipping the things is I have already explained about all these things in SDLC, in waterfall model, all those I have already explained. So you are clear about that, right? Each and every terminology. If there are any new terminology that I'll explain you. Next comes the modeling. Modeling is nothing but don't get confused. Uh, modeling means design in our previous models design is nothing but the modeling then you will come to construction construction is nothing but coding okay coding and testing okay done now. next you'll come to deployment in deployment you are delivering it to the customer deployment and maintenance both will come here okay now then what are this tails what is this inception elaboration construction this here transition software increment production why all these came I'll tell you first inception inception is not movie name <laughs> okay bad joke I know inception is nothing but it has two activities number one communication and number one planning communication is nothing but again communicating with the customers gathering the requirements and those requirements are planned accordingly so that you can deliver the software on time you can deliver a, a high performance and efficient software simple inception has two steps communication and planning done next comes the elaboration this is the first phase it has five phases five steps these are the steps and these are the phases okay in in steps this is one two three four five and in phases one two three four and here we have production I'll tell, I'll tell you don't worry so inception and next elaboration in elaboration we have two things again number one is planning and number two is modeling that's all simple in elaboration you'll be doing the uh, planning and modeling activities that's all very simple that if you if you define that that will be enough so when writing about this model what you'll do is first draw this diagram and after you draw this diagram uh, what wait I'll just zoom in uh, once you just take the screenshot so that you will be able to see the complete diagram of course it is getting blood but just adjust guys okay so yes just take a screenshot of this it will be useful for you okay done now let's go back okay next elaboration com combo of planning and modeling next construction so in construction simple it has only one it is not a combo here inception is combo of co communication and planning and elaboration is a combo of planning and modeling but construction is not a combo of anything just a construction you will have in it okay next you will have transition the fourth one so in transition it is a combo of the construction and deployment and testing also will be done since here in the construction we are doing testing here also we will be doing the testing activity done next 
deployment now we have some extra thing that is a software increment and production software increment and production is nothing but you are giving it to the pro, uh, production in, in the sense you are giving it to the customer okay the customer is satisfied then you will be producing more units like that and if the customer is giving any suggestions you will be doing it in increments that's all software increment is okay so it is all about how well you can remember things so it has five steps five phases and that's all for this video unified process model so if you are not able to understand the video at any part let me know in the comment section i'll definitely try to explain it again or at least clear it in the comment section or you know i'll, I'll try something so thanks for watching the video till the end uh, this is the end of this chapter chapter one i mean according to jntu head syllabus if you are of some other university then the syllabus may vary but according to jntu h this is the end of chapter one from the next video onwards i'm going to start the second chapter that is about the requirements okay thanks for watching the video till the end let's meet up in the next coming video